mean bridge oscillator is used for generating the oscillations okay this is a very low frequency this is a medium frequency this is very high frequency Wind bridge oscillator generally used at the lower side of the frequencies. The plus points of wind bridge oscillators are it is good for us audio oscillators. And oscillations are free from fluctuations. The question arises here, why this oscillator is so called vane bridge? It, the oscillator consists of two parts, two stage amplifier and RC bridge circuit. Okay. The bridge circuit has the arms R1, C1 like this one, R3 like this one, R2, C2 they are in parallel like this one and there is a lump of resistance R4, let me call it R4, it is made up of tungsten, okay. There are two voltages at this point V2, at this node it is V1. V1 is at the base of transistor T1, V2 is at the, at the emitter of the transistor T1. If V2, if V1, this one, is more positive as compared to V2, then it is a positive feedback. If V2 becomes more positive with respect to V1, then it will be a negative feedback. V1 more positive as compared to V2, then it is positive feedback. Transistor T1 produces a phase shift of 180 degree transistor T2 produces a phase shift of 180 degree so total becomes 360 that means the output the feedback uh, signal input in feedback signal comes in phase with the input signal this is the essential condition for oscillator V1 signal applied between base and emitter of T1 
can be adjusted with the help of uh, the two voltages and with the help of the bridge arms okay let a by chance amplitude of the output frequency increases if increase in amplitude here then what happened the distance of the lamp being made up of tungsten metal will increase because the distance will increase because of the more current according to I square R more heating effect the temperature will up this will increase the distance of the lamp and in turn it reduces the positive feedback here if positive feedback is reduced then hence it will bring the amplitude of oscillation to the previous value okay wind bridge oscillator is used for generating the oscillations okay this is a very low frequency this is a medium frequency this is very high frequency vein bridge oscillator generally used at the lower side of the frequencies the plus points of vein bridge oscillators are It is good for us audio oscillators and oscillations are free from fluctuations. The question arises here why this oscillator is so called vein bridge. It, the oscillator consists of two parts, two stage amplifier and RC bridge circuit. Okay. Analysis. This is a bridge circuit. Okay. Like a Western bridge. It has having four arms. In this arm, there is a register R1 and a capacitor of capacitance C1, they are in series. Here uh, there is a resistor R2 and uh, C2, they are in parallel. This, in this arm there is a resistor of resistance R3. In the fourth arm there is a tungsten filament, let we call it a resistance R4. There are four arms, okay. At this node, here it is the, at this node the voltage is uh, you know V2 with respect to ground here the voltage is V1 with respect to ground and uh, between this point and the ground it is V0 which is the output voltage so, so because this, this is at the output the output voltage is V0 output is taken between this point and ground so we call it V naught, right? V two with respect to ground. And V one with respect to ground. and V0 with respect to ground. This is V0 with respect to ground. So let me say R1 equals to R2 equals to R and 
C1 equals to C2 equals to C. That means this register is equals to this register, they are equal. This capacitors and this capacitors, they are equal. When bridge is balanced, you know, at this node, the voltage is V2, and at this node, the voltage is V1, they will be equal. V, V1 and V2 will be equal when the bridge is balanced. Balanced. So when bridge is balanced, then V2 equals to V1, right? And moreover, when the bridge is balanced, the ratio of this register are 3. R3 divided by R4, okay, that will be equal the impedance of this arm, impedance of this arm, uh, let me call it Z1, to the impedance of this arm, that let me call it Z2. So, when the bridge is balanced, R3 upon R4 equals to Z1 upon Z2. So let me write R3 upon R4 equals to this is Z1 upon Z2. For Z1 R1 and C1 in, are in series. So, you know, like uh, series, the impedances are added up. So, Z1 is R1 plus. Here, R2 and C2 are in parallel. R2 and 1 over J omega C2 are in parallel. Okay. So first of all, Z1 is written as R1 plus 1 upon J omega C1. And here, you know, R and J omega C2 mean J omega C they are in parallel. So R into 1 over J omega C upon R plus 1 over J omega C. Now it's a simplification. Okay, we are doing the simplification. A plus B whole square. Just simplification. This equation, equating the real part, this one is real, this one is real, mean no G operator. Now imaginary, mean there is no imaginary part left hand side, here is a G operator, it is an imaginary term, because of the G operator, and uh, J is here in the denominator, 
First of all, we'll bring it in the numerator by multiplying and dividing by j. j and j square becomes minus 1. Then j will come in the numerator. This term is also imaginary. Okay. So, equating the real part, both sides. So R3 upon R4 equals to 2, R3 is equal to twice of R4. So again, uh, you know, like, again writing the equation, multiplying and dividing by J to this term, and, and uh, you know, like, J and J become J square because it is minus 1. So minus comes here. Now we, we can equate the imaginary part. Equating imaginary part. So G and G are here. So no G on the left hand side. So calculating uh, omega. Then omega is 2 pi F. Then finding the value of F. So this is the value of f, you know. Now look, this is a resistance R3, tungsten having resistance R4, then grounded. And here is the voltage V0. The current by Ohm's law is V0 divided by V0, because of V0, they are uh, built some voltage at here, V2. And uh, at here, the voltage is V1. It is also because of the V0. Now, the problem is, what is the value of the V2? We can find that voltage, like the current is, the current is flowing through this arm. Okay, current by Ohm's law. That current is V0 upon R3 plus, plus R4. That, that current flows. Then that current builds a voltage across R4. By using Ohm's law, we can find that V2. I into R4. V2 is I into R4. Okay. So this is the current which is flowing. Now voltage across R4 is I into R4 so V2 becomes R4 upon R3 plus R4 into V0 but you know when the bridge is balanced R3 is equals to 2R4 we already calculated. So substituting here, right? Substituting this value at here, we will find the value of V2 in terms of V0. So V2 becomes one of three, one over three into V0. Okay, V2, it is in fraction. So for balance bridge, you know, V2 also equals to V1. So V1 will also be equals to one third of the V0. If the bridge is balanced, V1 and V2 will be equal. They will be equal. For sustained oscillations, V1 should not be equals to V2. That means VI signal, input signal, which is equals to the difference of the two. 
that should not be equals to zero. That means R four upon R three plus R four should should be should not be equals to exactly one by three. It should be slightly less. So we need some value of value of V i. We need it is the requirement that uh, there should be some V i signal. Okay, for sustained oscillation, there should be some V i. That means this ratio. Should not be exactly equals to one by three. It should be slightly less than one by three. By one by three. So R four upon R three plus R four is equals to one by three minus one upon n. So n should be greater than three. By three minus one by n, n is greater than three. Three. So it it is the main you know requirement here. And v two over v one equals to v two over v naught equals to one by three balance bridge v one equals to v naught one by three balance bridge condition. But we need, you know, some different signal. So if we need some different signal, v one should not be equal to exactly equals to v two. For balance bridge, this ratio is one by three. We need we need some you know different signal. So how can that? So if v one over v naught is one by three, then it should be v two over v naught should not be equal to one by three, but one by three minus one by n, and should be greater than three. Then it will be okay. We not should not be equals to one by three, but it should be one by three minus one by n. N should n should be greater than three. Then that will be equal. Then that will be good. And problem will be solved. So V A signal input signal becomes V not our n. N is greater than three. V over V naught. You know this is also the feedback signal. This is a you know feedback signal. V A is V one minus V two, and it's n is greater than three. You know. This is feedback signal. Feedback fraction. You can say. And it is uh, written with beta. So beta is equals to one by n here. And you know the oscillator condition a beta should be equals to one. Substituting this is for sustained oscillation a beta should be equals to one oscillator condition. So substituting the value of beta here, which is uh, one over n, then what will be the value of a? You know, like a should be then n. A should be equals to n. Then the above requirements can be fulfilled. So a should be equals to n, where n is greater than three. So hence the result. Of vein bridge oscillator. Okay, please subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.